What up sweetness? It is a new day and a new vlog and um, we are heading to YFM Studios. I'm doing an interview there. Um, basically just chatting about everything I do including Beauty Revolution which is coming up which we are so excited about and then we'll probably I don't know go out shoot some content because I've got a cute outfit and everything <laughs> You got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass Got an invincible fence letting everyone know not to trespass But you're bound to break down I love how my guest in studios is jamming to this jam I love it, I love it it's called Lover for Life, head of this one, Reason with Nyatanda, head of that one, some AKA with youngster CPT, main O's. 35 minutes past 11 o'clock, look over with this, and of course, our guest in studio, her name, Candy, otherwise known as Candy Kane, if you follow her on socials, Candy Kane Makeup, she's in the building, here to talk all things Beauty Revolution Festival happening this uh, month, 13th and the 14th of March, 2020. Good morning, Candy. How are you? What up, sweetness? Hey, <laughs> you I am so good. And you, thank you for having me. Thank you so much for coming through. Now, I, I, I know that you are and have been involved with Beauty Re Revolution already, but uh, tell us a bit about yourself and how you started in the makeup industry. Yeah, so I'm basically a beauty YouTuber. <laughs> I started back in 2012 when I was working a corporate office job that I just wasn't very happy in and everyone used to say you should be in the beauty industry and I decided to start a blog, start a YouTube channel, share my tips and tricks and the rest is really history, sure. that in a nutshell. <laughs> and you're absolutely beautiful, I mean I'm looking at your Instagram page now and everything is so sleek, so beautiful, so clean and you are an absolute gem, you're oh, gorgeous. Thank you. You so juggle cute. being an influencer and full-time career as a makeup artist. How do you manage to juggle the two or probably even more? Sure, you know, like, um, I think anyone who works for themselves can really say that when you work for yourself, you absolutely work so much harder. You put in sure. so much more work. And it does get hard because I live, breathe, eat, sleep, make up YouTube. That's mm. like what my life evolves around. Mm. But at the end of the day, I feel like when you have a passion for something, you make things work. So even though you put in the extra time and effort, it's difficult because you don't have a eight to five job. Mm. But at least I love my job and, and that's the most important thing. So it's not hard juggling those things. Sure. And you seeing a financial revenue, nice income stream from this industry because a lot of people, especially young girls, they're yeah. learning how to do their own makeup this time around. Um, and that's why you have a masterclass as well. But that's are nice. you seeing income that makes sense for you um, to not even look at the nine to five. You've got this. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, at the end of the day, you have to start somewhere. Sure. So for a lot of people, they always ask, but how, how do I, how do I make that income? Mm. And it's important to build your brand on social media. I feel because I have built that with my YouTube channel and my blog and everything, it also has some authenticity attached to that when it comes to my makeup and my makeup clients. So those two kind of go hand in hand together. And absolutely every year the market is growing bigger and better. Mm. Brands are working with more influencers and it's really be an amazing opportunity for every person out there who wants to be an entrepreneur. Ladies and gents in studio, joined by the one and only Candy Kane, all things Beauty Revolution Festival 2020. Now I'm excited for your masterclass out at the Beauty Revolution Festival. Tell us what we can expect as your fans, um, as new people seeing Candy Kane makeup. I mean, yeah. hello. Look, last year was already amazing and Beauty Revolution said they're, going, they're definitely going to top that mm -hmm. this year. Mm -hmm. It was so exciting meeting face to face with all the people who watch your videos, who follow you on social media. So we'll be having meetups, we'll be taking lots of photos, giving a lot of hugs. And apart from that, the masterclass is really filled with all of my tips and techniques with new makeup styles. Mm. Everyone's going for the cut crease, everyone's going for color, everyone wants highlighting and contouring. So mm. I'm really like jam packing everything into a 45 minute session where you will sit and just like be like a sponge to soak up everything. Love that. Now you're talking about beauty tips. 
if you could give the best beauty tips when it comes to contouring i think a lot of us want to have that high raised yes, cheekbones girl. we want to have the perfect <laughs> eyebrows yeah. but sometimes you don't get it right we sometimes overdo it yeah. um, and others are i feel like makeup is now it's becoming minimal you know Absolutely. that's what's standing out you're in yeah. beauty um, and and you appreciate in who you are best tip that you can give for someone who is getting into this beauty industry I think the best tip I would say is just try different products try different products get your feel for what you like because mm. some people like more of a natural look some people like more of a full coverage look mm. so you need to go in stores and you have to have your list ready like I'm a full coverage girl I'm a long wearing girl this and this and this will narrow your options down to certain products that you want to choose and from there on I would say inspire people who I mean follow people who inspire you mm. on social media because there's so many influencers out there sharing beauty tips and there's so much to learn from everyone Don't don't just look at one person take what you can from every single one in the industry 100 percent. with that said candy i want to make sure that i keep in touch with you where can one follow you or how else can one get in touch with you and, and get some updates yeah so my two main platforms are youtube um candy cane makeup <laughs> on both youtube and instagram i'm very active on instagram um so it's basically like christmas candy canes but it's spelled with k's so candy cane makeup, yeah. Yay. Thank you very much, Candy Kane. Really appreciate you. We are really excited to see you out of Beauty Revolution Festival this year. I will be there to 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 make sure everything is in order as your host on the 13th of March. Uh, and be sure to get your tickets, ladies. Come through via itickets.co.za. Candy Kane, thank you. Thank you. That was so nice. It was such a bye. <laughs> it was such a short and sweet interview, but it was really cool. I mean, how cool is she? She's like Yo. the vibe around her is like so cool. Yeah, it's electric. It. It's a good vibe. Yeah. We are at Sandton City again. Scampton City once again. This is not the city of gold, but what did they call this? The richest the square mile, square in, mile Africa. in Africa. No wonder they rich because we spend all our money here. <laughs> um, so we're just going to go on a bit of a mission. I don't know. Just walk around. If it depends on my money, then Boxburg should be the richest. <laughs> but luckily it's not me. <laughs> here I am, baby. Oh, oh, sealer. I'm yours. I'm yours, baby. I feel like I should wear red lipstick. No, nude is nice. Yeah. In the mood for nude. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a few basic things like a polo neck and a t-shirt from Cotton On just to wear in winter because end of March it's going to start getting a bit more colder nah. which I'm not really excited about. Nah. Why not? Someone's going to go on for long. I hope so. Oh, I would love that. We also went to the designer stores because I was just interested in like what they have and the price range of things. Um, because if you guys are following me on social media, obviously I could never understand the whole idea behind buying designer. And then I spoke to the lady from our bag and I had that whole situation with the Louis Vuitton. They kind of really changed my mind because also if you buy the right bag, it really holds its value for such a long time. Um, so I went to go and, and scout a little bit and just because I've set myself like a bit of a goal and I said if I achieve this goal I will buy my first designer handbag and just like want to make it a really good investment but the ones I liked they didn't have at all like it's not even available in South Africa or two you have to order it and there's like a at Louis Vuitton what did that lady say like it was eight, weeks, Wait, eight months. Eight so months. Eight months. A waiting list of 
a waiting list of seven to eight months, which is like insane. So, so what you can do is save up for, I think maybe a deposit, I don't know if you pay the full amount And then you can do like installments each month, by the time you get it, it's paid for <laughs> Sounds like a plan What the hell is here? <laughs> so sweetie New meaning to grenade, huh? Hi guys, so I wanted to come on here and chat to you guys. It's the next day um, and obviously yesterday like the country kind of like blew up because of the whole coronavirus I think I don't have to go into detail with that because you all know what's happening um, but like I always try and tell everyone is just to try we have to try and stay calm we're doing a lot of research on how you can just kind of prevent it from being really worse if you do get it um so i do have this vita freak um vitamins from pharma freak that i usually drink um if you can get this in stores like definitely definitely buy this it is a bit pricey but it's got like so 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 many things inside it's like a little pack like this that you drink and it just contains like all your vitamins and um minerals amino acids antioxidants like it's it's really really good um but already we went to um the springbok pharmacy just now just to get some stuff because i'm traveling next week to cape town for a day so i wanted to get like little travel size things just to make sure that like, i you know just to be safe but everything's already sold out and everyone who walks in there constantly asking what can i use for coronavirus like what even the vitamins are like insane um we ended up getting some chewable vitamin c's as well just as an added to boost our immune system and then we got some turmeric um root extract which is actually cook q q q q i can never say it cumin cumin curcuma <laughs> okay when you buy a turmeric make sure that you try and get the root extract which is the curcumin <laughs> it's not curcumin it's curcuma yeah whatever it's just a better version as i understand it it's very very finely mulled and it is easily absorbed by our system but it's really good also for huh and great for inflammation that's what i was about to say it's really good for when you exercise and you have inflammation and that sort of thing so we just got that um and we end up going to Nevada Center a Pharmacy, which is like a little pharmacy on the corner. And I at least got some wipes for when I travel and these little dental hand sanitizers, which I can at least travel with. But yeah, it's actually pretty sad because you see like a lot of old people going into the pharmacies and they're asking for the same thing. And I mean, not just for old people, I think yeah everyone is kind of panicking and it's difficult to stay calm but we just try our best to take precautions and as i told kev at least people are trying to prevent it like at least people are going through the trouble of trying to prevent it when this is actually how it should be with any sickness you know like in your normal flu and stuff we should actually be using our sanitizers and boosting our immune system and that sort of thing um but yeah so that's it from our side in the vitamin packs we also got a nice uh, foundation blender um, <laughs> it's not it's not like your proper beauty blender but it can still do the work you know highly doubt that <laughs> but you can use it to scrub your face <laughs> scrub your hands girl <laughs> morning guys it is saturday my husband actually left with a friend he does like motocross bike racing um so he's gone for the day i only have one client but my plan is to still come home and work um it is a saturday so 
I don't know. I'll see how I feel. But I feel like I have to do work. <laughs> this is the life of a workaholic. Anyways, I'm going to take you guys with me to meet my beautiful client that's also getting married later on this year. And um, we'll see how this day goes. It's kind of cold today. Like, it is already almost 9 o'clock. And it's 15 degrees outside. I mean, we're only in the beginning of March. But even like my window has got dew is it dew i'm not sure in afrikaans the word is dough but mornings and evenings are busy getting cold as i'm wearing a jersey because it is actually quite cold but i have to go and get some petrol um which is something i hate doing like i hate putting petrol in my car it's one of those activities that just takes up time especially when you're in a rush it is just really something I hate doing. I don't know if you guys feel the same. Is there like an activity that you absolutely hate doing but you have to? Let me know in the comment section. <laughs> She's really cool and cute, so make sure you book her. She is fully booked, but make sure you get your appointment with her. <laughs> Doing amazing, sweetie. <laughs> I forgot to take like a little clip of my beautiful bride to be. It's today her kitchen tea. Oh, she's a lovely person. I really love her. She's amazing. But anyways, I'm gonna head home and then I don't know. Chill or work, I don't know. I'm a freaking weird. No wonder freaking people are eating McDonald's because I thought like I'm not in the mood to cook food. Let me just get something to eat, but I didn't want to get like um McDonald's or Burger King or something. And I went to Woolworths. I was like, I'm just gonna get these chicken kebabs and fricadella 148 rand that is not even including a cold drink or something to drink 150 rand like I'm so annoyed I got some eucalyptus because I actually want to put it in our shower um, I've seen this on Pinterest where they hang it like this from the shower obviously I'll, I'll take a little bit less because this is a bit too much but it really helps the sinuses while you shower so I'm gonna try that out because I know Kev struggles with these sinuses so <laughs> our shower is so tiny like we have such a small shower um, and we don't have a lot of space in here so I mean we have some products over here but I bought this thing to put in some products and it just looks massive in there but I guess it's okay. I get for your binos gekry. I get for your binos gekry. Is it mooi? Mooi vat ne, sachis ne, sachis. That's it. I'm watching Love is Blind. Amber, um, this show you is amazing. are the only one that makes me feel this burning so this is actually frustrating me because people are constantly posting everything on social media so it just spoils things for you will you marry me? <laughs> alright, I'm gonna do this oh my first. gosh it's actually I'm just sad again. I'm just gonna stick that right in I'm 34 years old I thought maybe this was something that would never happen to me I mean, this is probably like a vlog where I talk most of the time. I'm sure you guys still getting irritated. So I just went on Instagram and I actually asked everyone the same question. I am in so much pain right now. I actually have like a bean bag on my stomach just to try and help with it because I can't go to the pharmacy now. But I haven't been so protective over me, like he's constantly with me. 
and worrying about where I am and other things. This is literally my stomach. So we actually just came from gym. Look at me, I'm so fly, I'm so fly, I'm freak is fly. We did like a little bit of a grocery haul, we went to gym this morning, we went grocery shopping by the way, shit expensive, but anyways we thought we'd quickly show you what we got. We got some foil for the baking situation. Pepper. Mixed veggies. Not looking, but pepper. Pepper. Some chicken fillets. Chicken fillets I usually put in like these little small freezer bags and then I just put them in the freezers. Protein shake. <laughs> uh, pre protein bike. Sorry. If you guys have like a good chicken liver recipe, let us know down below because we're going to try it for the first time. It's actually Kim's favorite. I don't eat it, but yeah, we're not really sure how to make it. We meat for days, like on weekends when we don't know what we want to eat. So this is like a prego fillet, chicken fillet um, thingy. Um, then we have some tenderized steak and... Thank you, Tani Ina. Lekker. Rum steak. We got this from Spa because the Spa by us has got actually quite nice meat. So... That's going to go in the freezer. Like a coconut? Coconut cultured yogurt. That's what I eat my muesli or granola with. Yeah. Some rosa tomatoes. Some basmati, which is like a hundred rand for a packet like this. How insane. Some Himalayan salt, because that's what I use to spice my food. Little onions. Some apples. Ample apples. And then I also got like a rosemary and sage grind. And then some tomato and onion and relish dried. I also got some like a long cheese to go with the apple. For the salads. For him. And we, we tried it. Have you ever had a Uwe sample? Let's it's pack really it out. Then you can actually try your fruit or whatever you want to buy there, cheese as well. Coke Zero! That's how I realized those nachos are good enough to buy. Because they are quite expensive. You're not even selling them much. <laughs> Sweet potato chips. Cauliflower and broccoli. I like put this in the oven with some um, olive oil. And then also some cinnamon and a little bit of honey. And then so good. So, so good. And a little bit of fruit for thought. Mm -hmm. They've got, um, yeah, it's three for 60 rand. Yeah, three for 60 which, bucks. Which so is still like it. expensive, but I bought pineapple and then I'm just not in the mood to cut it and I exactly. keep eating it and then I have to exactly. throw it away because it's like. I'm terrible with cutting And you buy a watermelon for two people, then you throw away half a watermelon yeah. and okay, so then it's the same price. So, yeah. Cleaning detergents. Here can also that okay. We um, use the aerial liquid and then we have Stay Soft. We just kind of take whatever we feel like having at the time. Um, and then we just got some carpet cleaner, some plush and some... You know, little luckies and spongies and you know, all those things you need to clean the house with. Actually, I'm a big sauce person and even Keva as well, we love sauces of our food. <laughs> but uh, sauces are so high in calories and it's it really like, it makes it difficult to lose weight if you're like a sauce person. So, um, the owner from Farmer Freak in South Africa actually told me about these sauces at this game. It's called Lifestyle Food. This is what it looks like. Mm. And the calories, I mean the kilojoules on them are so low. Um, like this one per 15 ml serving is 40. This is a prego sauce. Can you have some tomato sauce at all? Then we have a sweet chili sauce. This one is 5 kilojoules. Five. That's like barely anything. We got sweet cheese. 
And then we also what did Joe's do to compare sweet chili yeah, sauce? Yeah, yeah, so a normal sweet chili sauce, right? The Wellington's one. Let's have a look at this one. 141. 141 versus what is this? This one. Five. So that's insane. That's a big difference. So this is going to make a difference in my diet. Then we have a basting sauce. And they retail for about 49 Rand or 50 Rand, which I don't think is bad. This one is 11 kilojoules. Um, it's also sugar-free, by the way. And then this is like a salad dressing. And it's vegan as well. And this one is 83, so it's a little bit higher. But at least it's still like sugar-free. And, you know, you use it in moderation. So I'm actually quite excited about these. Um, so yeah, that's our grocery haul. So the plan was to film content today because this week I'm so busy. As you can hear, the guys um, across from us generators on. And we have load shedding until 4 o'clock. So, <sighs> stressful, stressful, stressful.